So I really struggled to come up with this one, but I think I've got a good one that I haven't really touched on before. And this is probably the best, like, YouTube client application I've found outside of MPV, and that's FreeTube. So FreeTube, yes, it does run on Electron, but it also doesn't have ads. So if you've used uBlock Origin or Brave or things like that, you know, ads are blocked pretty well, but, oh, FreeTube also lets you download stuff and also, I believe, listen to audio for stuff as well. So I th I use this mostly for like watching like certain kinds of videos that I definitely don't want ads in or to listen to certain things. So basically what it does for the most part is when you pull it up you'll basically have no subscriptions in it so it might pull up like the trending so you've got your same standard youtube stuff you can look at the trending tab go through those ones and look through those you can look at the most popular videos and this is curating the most popular based on basically the um invidious instance so by default, one of the things that you can do is if we go into the general settings, it has an NVIDIAS instance that it sources from, and you can actually change that if you've got your own or whatever, and or change it to something else, whatever you like. But you've got a whole bunch of like options you can customize with it. So you like you can have it as a list view. So if I go back to Trending now, I believe. Yeah, it'll show it as a list. But I think I prefer the grid, honestly, for the view. And that's kind of how I've kept it. Um, you can use local or NVIDIA's API, however you want to do it. Um, and then you've got a bunch of other preferences that way. I haven't messed with like the general preferences much. The layout of the settings has changed in like one of the more recent updates, so it's still somewhat unfamiliar to me moving through it. But other than that, most everything else is like, okay, yeah, whatever. Um, it will tell you when there's an update, so there isn't one for me, but yeah. Um, one of the cool things I find about with this too is that it's got UI scaling. So you can scale the UI. Right now it's set at 100%. If I bump it up to like... 150 you can see that like it gets really big on me i can drop it down to 75 and it gets much smaller i kind of keep it at 100 and i usually have it on my second um oh monitor but we can have the full sidebar showing we can um make the top bar match the colors so the red main color that you choose um you've got a couple options with it so, like, the amber is kind of more of a yellow or gold, but yeah. And you've got a whole bunch of options you can go through and just pick your color scheme for it. So, you've got a few options, but let me go back to... Let's go with Deep Orange. Um, it does support light and dark themes, and we can go with, like, some weird ones, too. But um, light theme is pretty much, you know, dead. You shouldn't use it. Dark theme, you should only go with any of the dark themes. That's pretty much it. Um, it does have smooth scrolling. So the scaling UI, I found this really good. So um, FreeTube actually works pretty well on the Pine Phone. And it's actually pretty smooth
card. No, 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 no. In fact, I need to like change this immediately because this this is like usually there's a bit of a quality control sort of with these games, and uh, this is the opposite of that. Uh, I could have included it, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is incredible. What is this game? So what I had to do on the Pine Phone to get the UI right is I actually had to drop it down to like 50% because it wanted to be like really kooky and big on Fosh. I think for OSXMO, oh, I was able to keep it default or I had to adjust it a little bit. But it's going to be finicky if you're playing with it on the Pine Phone. But after you get it set, it works really well on the Pine Phone. So... And it still supports all the features. It does look pretty decent on mobile as well. Because it'll adjust the screen and everything for the screen size. So, yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind. So, another thing that you have is, like, your player settings. So, like, you've got legacy options, audio formats, or dash. Dash, I find, um, loads a little bit better for, like, your video content than like the legacy for some reason it just wants buffer more and legacy it seems feels like to me but i could be wrong so you can sit here and play with like all this stuff like the default playback and everything so and i don't think um free tube count sends youtube st viewer stuff to the api so and if you want to configure your external player you can do that and work with that so Actually, let's mess around with it like this. Okay, so yeah, you can set the path for it. You can set custom command arguments. So I've already got MPV configured to use YTDLP. So if I go back to my subscriptions, I can go into, let's just pick that one. So apparently it doesn't like I'm not sure what it's doing but it's doing stuff but yeah okay uh oh wait no let's go back to that yeah my history is just yeah So this is where it matters. Okay, so we click open an MPV, so it'll open it in the external thing. It takes MPV a second, but it'll eventually come up. Come on, buddy. I believe. Okay, there it is. It's got to take a second to buffer and load. But yeah, it will load up an MPV or in whatever external player that you pick. And it will work just fine like that. You just click the open external whatever. And that's in the player settings that way. Um, you can have a bunch of like hide features and stuff and RSS features. Um, so the distraction free settings is kind of one of the interesting ones. So you can set this up to like hide a whole ton of things. So if you don't want to see how many views a video has or the likes and dislikes, you can Hide all that data. Come on, buddy. Okay. 
and we can hide the number of channel subscribers. We can hide comment likes. Let's see. So if we go back to, let's see, blah, blah, blah. And we, we can hide like all kinds of stuff. So if we go back into our history, we go back here and it should look a wee bit different than what it was before. So we can see we've hidden like a bunch of stuff. So like you can hide the recommended videos stuff over here. You can hide the comments here. But I mean, that that's all like whether you want to get rid of that, like it gives you those options. You can hide. Let's see. So by default, it'll show you like the channels you have subscribed in FreeTube um, on the side. And you can hide that if you don't want to like look at it or select it because it'll basically pull up the channel like this. This is what the channel view looks like in it. So like we can go and look through the channels and search through it. You've got basically everything it scrapes YouTube for. Like everything that shows up on a YouTube page pretty much will show up here. So that's it kind of like gets rid of some of that. You've got your privacy options. And then um, one thing it does is it lets you import and export data. So you can import subscriptions from like a YouTube export. You can like do legacy stuff and there is so if we go into import you can import from YouTube another free tube instance um, YouTube YouTube and then they also do new pipe importing as well so if you're using new pipe you can import it from there as well and I believe new pipe lets you import from free tube as well but you might have to export otherwise but it gives you a whole bunch of export options. And yeah, you can manage all your subscriptions here. So one thing I really like about FreeTube is the profile um, deal. So you've got these different profiles that you can set up that like are for different categories of subscriptions. So you could have like your general one that like just has a bunch of Oh, general stuff in it and you can change the color of the oh icon as well or and I think you can actually add a profile icon but you can sort out your channels based on which profile you're in and the way that you switch profiles let's go back to subscriptions real quick is up in the top corner here we can go into the Linuxy one. Um, for some reason, I have to refresh subscriptions on this system. On the other ones, it basically works okay and automatically refreshes. But you can see our sidebar has also changed the subscriptions that show up as well. So we can go back to... Let's pick that one. And then again, it changes based on the profile you're in. So. Again, it works pretty well. And I really like love the way. That FreeTube works. It can actually keep track of a lot of things. So let's see. That's our data. So you can set up a proxy. You can go through tour. That's kind of pretty basic. And it does allow you to have sponsor block built in. So it for those that use a sponsor block plugin or any of that stuff, this is basically integrated right into it. You don't even have to think about it. So you can skip all the sponsor stuff in FreeTube as well now, not just the ads. And it does have a sponsor block instance API, whatever, that you reference. But yeah, those are kind of all the settings that you can mess with. So one thing that it also does is it keeps track of your playtime as well. Or kind of, well, a lot like YouTube, just like YouTube. It keeps track of like your progress in a video. 
So you can actually go back and continue off of, off of where you left off in a video because it keeps track of that, which is really convenient for like those videos where you have to get up and get back. And when um, you leave it for a while and it's like, oh crap, our thing didn't load. So you're going to have to like start all over. You don't have to start all over because FreeTube has like where you left off saved at least by like a couple of seconds it'll have it so but yeah basically free tube is kind of perfect here this could be whole position come on. as well free tube is one that i highly recommend if you are watching youtube and you want something that is like familiar but will like also remove all the distractions but isn't the YouTube site itself. So it works really well. It's got like a lot of features. You can still search and go look at things via the normal URL and you can pull everything up in it too. And you can even have multiple windows of it open just by clicking the open new window thing. So if you're one of those that is like all over the place, you can just have a ton of windows open. But yeah. If you found this intro helpful if you didn't know about free tube and things like that you know let me know in the comments and that kind of a thing oh if you've got things that it's like you want me to show off it's like i'm all ears let me know and i will see you guys later